try and teach you. So they're like these, are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, these, are. these are tradesmen's vehicles. So you've got the, the, the luxury and the comfort of a sedan in the front yeah. and huge amount of space in the back for all your gear. Yeah. But yeah. they're exactly the same. They are exactly the same. Well, you not. say that though, James, because one of them is actually predominantly black. And the other one is predominantly white, but other than that, they are identical. Uh, they, they're not the same. They are not the same. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you something. Uh, I need to help you, audience. Australia, who here likes the black dude? Who here likes the white one? See, they're not right. the same. Australia prefers white cars. So, <laughs> but what do you do with them? Well, we'll show you. This is what you do with them. What? I'll show you. Well, everybody knows the true measure of a youth's ability is how long you can do a burnout for. Yeah. A but burnout. isn't that right, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah. A burnout. Yeah. Eleven. No, Australia is 3,000 miles wide. What difference does a you can't burn out all the way to Perth, can you? It's a complete waste of time. That is exactly what makes you English. I'll show you. Permit us to demonstrate. What is incredible over here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have managed to get an entire rhinoceros through a letterbox. Jake <laughs> Jacobson has just been unborn. <laughs> Right, so he's now in the ute, which is not luxurious, as we've been told. I'm just in the ute. And you're going to see which one of you can leave the longest number 11s as on the road, yes? Yeah, correct. This is a very important system. We use this to uh, choose our Prime Minister. Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott are going to do this exact thing in about six months' time. And beauty contests, right? We've got the swimwear, the evening wear, and then the burnouts. Correct. Right. All right, gentlemen, in three, two, one, go! James, I fear we have to measure and see which one actually did the longest, whatever it is they're called. Number 11, number. Number 11, says. Do you know, I can see what I want to do, Peter and Shago do this stuff. It's a certain pairs the Australian lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah. As you get up in the morning, you do a burnout and you eat round your neighbours, which is about 150 miles. Slap a couple of giant prawns on the barley, have a tinny, pull the head off a wombat, castrate the sheep with your teeth, have another tinny, put another couple of prawns on the barley, have another tinny, get back in your ute, burn your way home, have a tinny, have a crash, get out, put your car back together, have a tinny, go home and get home with a bed. That's pretty much it. That's your rug. That's Australian rug. What a great idea. The black car finished here. Hang on a minute, which one is? The white, the white one's finished just there. No, I can see it, the white one. Shino! Shino! Can you hear us? Because your white car definitely left longer 11s than the black car. Yeah, but we haven't finished, guys. So what have you got in mind now? Well, that was just warming up the tyres, Jess. Now we're going to do a drag race. Oh, give me straight. So, give us a bit of room. Fill the arts pages of the Sydney Morning Herald. Exactly. You can see a man licking his pencil in the audience now to make extensive notes. All right, then. Come on. This is high culture for us. Are you ready? His eyes. Three, two, one, go. the fastest to drag racing. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you want a higher performance, what are they called, ute, then your neighbour, buy a white one, not the black one. Alright, excellent. Well done, chaps. Well done, Pizza and Jano. We understand now. We've got it. I've oh, no idea what they're on. They're just human. Yeah. They're obviously well soundproof. They can't hear us. We can't hear them. <laughs> what you do with a ute. Well good, I'm sure you enjoyed it very much and well done. Let's move on. No, no, we're not moving on. You guys are criticising something without having experienced it. I reckon you guys need to get in. Don't you reckon, ladies and gentlemen, should James and Jeremy get in the utes? Yeah. I'm going to get out first. So am I going to drive your white one? Yeah. So what's this black one that I'm driving? This is the Ford, that's the Holden. Is it what, is that... That's like a luggage thing, is it? Correct. In England, that would just get full of litter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just pretending to have a problem with my sound equipment just so that we can get our Norwegian car. <laughs> this is Gary, everyone. 
Hi, Gary. Right, we've got these. We are ready. Do you need me to pull that steering wheel out there, right? Look at Oh, my God. It's like God. watching a spider get into a matchbox. Why you get in here, Shana? <laughs> well, I kind of did it. Right, you'll need that wheel thing. Now, James, have you got your strap on? That right. strap seems good. Good. Perfect. That wheel's on. Turn that key. Right, now, gentlemen, what I reckon you should do, take this for, oh, I don't know, two laps? What do you reckon? No, no, one lap. We've got time to one, lap. one lap. But I tell you what, I can't look, look, ideally, you'd both be a little bit pissed, to be honest, and in blue singlets. But what you need to do is not be going straight a lot. You need to be kind of a little bit sideways. Well, I don't do sideways. I think it's a left-wing plot. Yeah. <laughs> and Right. Well, not normally we have tools in these things, yeah. but we've actually got two massive tools in them already, so you're right to go. Funny. Right, okay, so I just press the accelerator and we begin, do we? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Bloody hell, fire. Is yours quite fast, James? Yeah, it is. I've got six gears. Have you got six gears? Yes, I've got six gears. It's just the same as you. It's not racing. Just go sideways. Oops, James. Yeah. Have you got very sharp brakes? Uh, let me just... Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I've got really, really sharp. I've got a radio as well. What? Now, Jeremy, you're coming up to the first point that you should be straight. Right there. That's the way. Hey! It's up like crap. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, ladies and gentlemen. I think right he's there. getting it. I think he's starting to get it. Tell you what. I tell you what, this is a bloody good laugh. <laughs> I've had a crash. I think I might have to get one of these. Ha ha ha! Another opportunity. Another opportunity, Jess. It won't go in a straight line. Correct. It's completely insane. Correct. Is it left here? Yeah? I love this thing. What is it? it well, that's a Commodore. Holden. Yeah. I like your Holden. <laughs> now, Jess, this next corner, if you're going to do it right, you have the fat arm and palm it. So, arm on the sill and you. James, have you come to a roundabout? Oh, yes, very nicely done. <laughs> exactly what you Oh, yes, my old cabin's full of smoke, and it doesn't have pride on it. <laughs> oh, guys, there's a problem. What? The brakes have completely failed. I simply can't <laughs> stop. Yeah, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> no, there's something I can do. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to have to go round again. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Well, there we are. I have to tell you something. 
Clarkson converted. James May converted. We'll be back very, very soon. Wilson. 